Hey guys, a brand new update just dropped and I couldn't wait to share it with you. If you've ever tried creating consistent characters with AI images, you know how frustrating it can be. Sure, some tools have nailed down making one character consistent, but creating multiple consistent characters, that's been nearly impossible until now. Design AI just released a new feature that lets you create multiple consistent characters in minutes. Perfect for storybooks or any project that needs a cast of characters to stay on point. Let me show you how it works. Visit the design website and sign into your account and you'll be brought to this dashboard. For the purpose of what I'll be showing you today, let me give you a bit of context. I'll be creating two characters which are spies, a lady and a guy and we'll be putting them in different scenes and see how that plays out. To get started, click on new project. This dashboard is going to open up and it would ask you to give the project a name. I'll just say multiple consistent character and you're going to choose an aspect ratio i'll choose 16 by 9 because i need a wider real estate to work with and click on apply and once you do that you would come to the left hand corner here where we have character and click on that if you have used design in the past months you'll notice that these two features exist but this is the latest one but i will show you how to use it shortly first of all we are going to create the characters themselves do that you click on character sheet it opens up and you're going to choose a model that you want to use in our situation we'll be using a 3d model cozy 3d we select that and then you would go ahead and input the description for the lady that says a cute pixel style 3d animated girl then i went ahead and gave a detailed description of the eyes what she's wearing the boots her hair and what i want to see in terms of the different poses for the character sheet and left this as high quality and click on generate it'll start generating by the right hand corner and it's going to generate two images then you go ahead and choose the one that you like we have the first image generated. I like this. Once you find the image you like, you double click on it and it's going to be placed on the canvas. Before now, if you want to train your model, you need to cut this out, then download them and re-upload them. But now it's pretty easy. What you need to do is you would notice there's a feature here under the image that says build character based off of the image you want to use just click on one and it automatically opens the consistent character interface what you're going to do is to give the character a name i might just call her mia and then what it's going to do is once you click on train design ai has been configured in such a way that it would cut out all these images automatically and start training it you could see it here it will split upon submission and start training go ahead and click on train and it will start training the model you would do the same thing for the second character the male spy i have gone ahead to train two characters here already we have zach and we have zara and i will show you how we use this going forward this is the one i trained initially this is zara and this is the second character Zach. You could go ahead to test the characters to see how they are on their own before you start using them for multiple scenarios. Come back to character, then here you choose the character you want to use. In this situation, you're going to choose Zara. It's going to go ahead and give a description of Zara and then it would ask you to put in what you want Zara to be doing. Here, I would go ahead and just say, for example, read and click on generate. You could see this is Zara reading. It looks good from what I can see. This is another option, but I prefer this. So this looks good. You could put the individual characters in multiple scenes, but the game changer here is how do you put multiple characters characters in the same scene with them being consistent this is where this feature comes in first of all what we are going to do is we are going to put in zara in a context with another character we are going to say zara is sitting on a bench with a male colleague in the park and it starts generating we have some results here i like this particular one i'll double click to place it on the canvas what we're going to be doing is we are going to be replacing 
the guy in this scene with Zach. From here, you could see now there's a new feature that appear that says in insert character, just click on it. Once you do that, this image in insert character tool appears. You want to make the edit. There is lasso, brush and auto tools. What we're going to do is to click on the lasso tool. This is preferable. You'll be able to get area you want to change. I'm just going to use it to go across the guy in this image. So when you're selecting, just make sure you give a little bit of space so that you'll be able to get all the areas that you need. Once you have that selected, go ahead and choose a character. In our situation, we'll be using Zach. It gives the description of Zach. You could go ahead to change the dressing of Zach, but we'll leave it as it is. And then I would go ahead head and put in some description of what Zach is doing. In situations like this where Zach is looking at the lady, it's important to mention Zach is in a profile view sitting on a bench and looking towards the left. So you have to be specific the direction Zach is looking towards. And then I went ahead to describe what he was doing basically. Then here I'm going to remove the boots because we don't want the legs showing. Once I have all of this done, I'll click on generate and would wait for this to be replaced with Zach. Immediately you'd see four images are going to be generated. This particular one, Zach is sitting and facing towards the right, which is not what we want, but you see this, Zach is facing her and looking her and smiling, which is perfect. This is another one. This is another one. I think this does it justice. So let's double click on this. As you could see, this replaced with Zach exactly let's put them into another situation but before we do that if you like any of these images and you want to download upskill it you could choose this we use the second image you click on second and you choose between enhance and upscale i would choose upscale choose how many times you want it upskilled and choose the format i need to go ahead to upskill the image and download it to your computer once it's done while that is working in the background let's go ahead and put these two characters in more scenes so you would see how it works this is a new scene where zara and zach are running away from a cave and you could see that this particular image is not zach we are gonna do the same thing what we're gonna do is we click on the lasso tool go around the character and once we select the character we choose Zach as a character to replace that in this situation I'm going to make sure that the boots are showing because I want the whole body showing and then what would Zach be doing in this situation he is running alongside his colleague then because this is front view you have to state it or else the character will be backing the image say front view and I'll make sure facing forward and then click on generate. The results are in as you can see here. There are a couple of ones. This seems a little bit bigger than I would like. This is not bad but I like this. I'll just double click on this and put it on the screen. You can see that this looks very cohesive. This is the way I was able to generate multiple of these characters in different scenes. I want to test something that is a little bit more complicated. So in this scenario you you could see that Zara is sitting with a colleague and the colleague is sitting at the back of the bike. I want to replace this colleague with Zach and see how well the tool will be able to place Zach in this complicated situation. We are going to select Zach as usual with the lasso tool. I would go around. This can be a little bit tricky. I'll just go through his hands and then go this way. What I'm going to say is Zach sitting on a bike behind a female colleague and let's see what is going going to generate. Obviously, this prompt is not detailed enough, but let's just see how this is going to work out. And then we have the results in this particular one image leg is missing. So we use that. This looks good. This is my first time testing this live. So you guys know it's not like I have done this before and I'm showing you this is me 
testing this live and you could see here this is not i think these two seem to work well let's put this on the canvas let's look at it this looks perfect but the thing missing is he's not holding her hand like we put in the prompt but this was reaching for the hand not bad at all but i'm amazed to be honest so you could put these characters in multiple situations it could be zach and then you put zara in that situation so something that i'll be testing in coming days would be more than two characters i haven't tested three characters yet but for two characters this works perfectly for those who have been waiting to find a way to create things like the storybooks and different projects there you have it design ai check it out let me know your thoughts in the comment section let's discuss do you find this fascinating have you tested it and let's have a conversation.